uh, since you mentioned about a politic in uh, sorry religion in politics and uh, do you think it's wise to combine um, religion with politics and what are the factors promoting the occurrence of radicalization radicalism and extremism uh, in the politics itself and in Malaysia itself uh, thank you uh, Angela I think that is very um, controversial question uh, in any um, uh, country in any society um, whether you want secular reason or you want uh, 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 you know um, a little bit of religion in your uh, in the politics so to me I I, I don't subscribe to both uh, I don't choose I don't want to choose I I I think uh, every country should have their own model to follow mm -hmm. but uh, for me uh, religion should be a private matter uh, it should not be a public matter where you can uh, for example in Malaysia it's a it's a Islam is the religion of the state um, it's an institu institutionalized religion it's a it's different from Indonesia uh, where they, you have organized or like a recognized religion but in Malaysia it's a little bit different Islam uh, is, is institutionalized which means um, there are authorities, religious authorities. Um, there are many uh, institutions, uh, Islamic institutions in the country. Um, so, so when I when we talk about the factors um, why radicalization happens, I think you, rather you and also um, uh, Pak Wawan sama Pak Bante have talked about this. Um, uh, but I just want to extend a little bit on ideology. Um, how ideology. Uh, extremist ideology is plays a role in radicalizing society. Uh, uh, extremist ideology teaches their followers to dehumanize mm -hmm. um, a certain group of people because of their religion, uh, race, as well as because of their gender. Uh, uh, this is made uh, based on the premise that their own religion, race, gender are superior uh, to the rest. Lebih baik, lebih atas, lebih tinggi dari yang lain. In this sense, dehumanization of others justifies uh, their action uh, to discriminate others because they are less humans, uh, you know. So I can, um, I can do, um, uh, you know, something bad, or I can even use uh, violence uh, against these people. Um, so when we talk about ideology, especially, it's very harmful when power and politics uh, come in when politicians and also some religious leaders they use ideology to to influence the society um, uh, some political figures uh, they campaign for the narratives of uh, exclusivity uh, um, uh, i think i really like the video uh Pak Wa, Pak Wa video about how uh, in, in indonesia in indonesia too there's uh, an issue about uh, wishing merry christmas uh, you know in malaysia also we have uh, uh, some religious figures uh, they prohibit muslims from from wishing merry christmas and it's coming from the state from the religious authority as well uh, so it's it's a ideology of uh, exclusivity uh, you cannot uh, wish to other uh, really you cannot wish other religions but other religions can wish uh, you know uh, uh, slamat hari raya uh, idul fitri and all that but we cannot wish you know to other religions so it's not mutual it's it's exclusive um, ideology um i think uh, in malaysia i just want to uh, cite one case um in malaysia we have uh, observed a series of horrible uh, conflicts kalau di indonesia i think indonesia also to have conflicts i think in any country we have conflicts different kinds of conflicts yeah. uh, especially in malaysia we it's not only about religion but also about uh, race mm. um, to a uh, combination yeah. in malaysia uh, the controversial issue is about the use of the word allah uh, by um, mm -hmm. by non muslims in malaysia how the government and also some religious figures they um, prohibit the use of uh, the word allah uh, by non-Muslims, in uh, for example, Christians, mm -hmm. um, they use Allah in their own in the in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, but then some Muslims said uh, no, and there there's a fatwa uh, on this issue as well, prohibiting uh, the use of Allah by non-Muslims. This is very unfortunate. Um, we we may see this issue as 
oh, it's okay, it's nothing, it's not harmful, uh, it's 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 not serious. But what from our uh, NGO perspective, and we we observe the news and and what's happening on the ground, is that um, uh, 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 after uh, some people, um, you know, take. Um, terrorist attacks, take action, terrorist actions uh, by targeting um, churches and also non-Muslim worship places uh, when the court uh, uh, in Malaysia allowed the usage of Allah, uh, challenging the decision. Uh, we also see protests, people are protested against this um, issue. We see um, hate speech on social media. We see um, legal battles between um, the communities Christian government and also Muslim communities. So it's very tense. It's a tension uh, mm -hmm. between these communities. So 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 there's and a lot of these uh, people also uh, religious leaders, they jump on the bandwagon. They try to um, make this the issue more serious rather than yeah. um, you know promoting dialogue, uh, so on and so forth. So I think I'm going to 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 conclude. Um, so I think. What we need to understand is that ideology uh, plays an important role in radicalization, especially when it involves power and politics. Um, and by then, ideology is not the only factor uh, why big people become extremists. I think rather you talk about socioeconomics, uh, quality of education, unemployment. Some people become, don't have a job, but then uh, extremist group offer better job, better opportunity. Yeah. Um, so. That's another forum that we can discuss. But um, yes, it's, this is the reality that we are looking at. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Bro Aizad. Uh, well, I think uh, mau, di berbagai, uh, mau di negara manapun, um, problemnya akan selalu kurang lebih sama. Between religion dan ras, itu akan selalu menjadi masalah bagi sebagian kelompok ya.